very best of morning uh, today we will be solving the rotate array problem it's a basic problem and it's a commonly asked question uh, for the interview round so for a for an array of size n rotate it by d elements in the clockwise fashion actually we can use extra space and rotate it in an easy way but at times they will ask us to rotate it without using the extra space then it is best to use the build function it will take only one line to solve the problem and the solution is available only in, this solution is available in C++ language so, so solution is as follows step 1 will be adding the required library I mean the header file header file and in this function now generally they will be asking us to complete this function rotate the input will be a vector and how many places it needs to be rotated uh, so step 1 is adding the record header file and step 2 is uh, calling the function calling the rotate function and step 3 will be printing the vector printing the vector or array, or array. so let us start uh, the first step start with this. so the first step uh, the required header file is hash include algorithm so step 1 is done we have added the required header file so in the function step 2 is calling the record calling the rotate function uh, the function definition of rotate function is as follows beginning address beginning address movements required ending address ending address okay ending address so let us call the function rotate the beginning address the vector name is arr so arr dot begin now the movement record we need k movements so arr dot from the beginning position we need to move k k times we need to rotate k times and finally the ending address array dot int so step 3 is over now or the final step printing the vector array that will be for int i is equal to 0 i less than array dot size till the end of array i plus plus then you have to print it C out array i and you have to print a new line <coughs> new line so as simple as that so now now let us submit the problem so here the input is 5, I mean the size of array is 5 and we need to rotate it 2 times. So, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2 will be the expected output. And the output we have generated is also same, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2. These two items are rotated. Here 3 items needs to be rotated. So, 2, 4, 6 will be rotated to the back. 2, 4, 6 will be at the back. That's it. And let us submit. Okay. We got the result. Uh, so, to sum up, we have to add the required live header file, hash and load algorithm .h. Call the function rotate where the inputs are array.begin. 
the movements triggered and are dotted and then printing the other printing the trust normal that's all thank you for listening